Hello, everybody. Welcome to Verbling. Hope you're all doing great today. I'm Teacher Oakley, and in today's class, uh, we have an interesting topic to practice our English with. We're going to talk about eating insects. Yes. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Uh, hey, Roman, how are you? Looking good, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. How's it going? You look healthy. You look great. I'm good. Uh, okay. Uh, hi, Michael. Welcome. Hello, Tisha Rockley. Michael, I have to inform you that I, in fact, took my personality test. Oh, that's great. And yeah. what is the result share with us? Uh, I have the same personality as uh, oh, uh, Osa <laughs> uh, as uh, <laughs> Pre President Obama. Uh, that's what I have. Okay, so, so who who is he? Uh, <laughs> G I N P A N G P. Uh, what was it? Okay, wait a second. I wrote yeah, it down. Like... Right, right. I wrote it down. E N F J, whatever that is. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 yeah, whatever that means. But uh, it was very interesting. Thank you for sharing that. I, I actually found it to be uh, quite uh, quite accurate. accurate uh, yeah. Really, it was pretty good. And did you read uh, your description? Like uh, what jobs fits you? What uh, there? Yeah, like, um, a, a teacher was one of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was quite surprising. It was pretty cool. Okay. Thanks for sharing that. So way. you need to take once again, like after a week, you need to take uh, once again, and you should see like uh, maybe uh, your personality change, like because uh, <laughs> I mean, you took uh, and like yesterday you was in one mood, but uh, when after a week you will be in another mood. Hmm. So, okay. All right. Uh, may you, change. Know me, you know me. I'm always up for an experiment. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Why not? Uh, welcome to the class, Steve. How you doing? Oh, hello, teacher Oakley. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. So our topic today, uh, we're, we'll actually maybe, uh, we've got a little background material, a short article, which maybe we'll read together. But uh, just to, to preview, we're going to be talking about eating insects. Mm -hmm. Actually, yesterday we talked about UN. This is actually part of a UN study, what we're going to read about. Steve, have you yes, ever sir. eaten insects? Uh, yes, sir, I did when I was young. <laughs> when you were young. Oh, just yeah. because you were young and foolish or <laughs> was it uh. like a, a, a native food or something like that? Yeah, it was somewhat uh, a native food, and uh, I have to try it. <laughs> what was it? It was a uh, I I don't know what's uh, what is what's the scientific name of that insect, but uh, oh. in our native language we call it salagubang. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's like a type of a beetle, beetle, like type like a beetle, beetle, but but the but that insect does not come from the from the feces, yeah. <laughs> it's from a tree. <laughs> from a tree. Oh, well, that's yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you know, uh, Steve, I'm also living here in the Philippines, and I'm living down in Pampanga, and one of the regional dishes here is, uh, it's like sisig, but it's made with crickets. Sisig is a dish. It's fried really hot on a hot iron platter, mm -hmm. so it's a little crispy. But it's they're, they're crickets. Okay, oh. so basically it's seasick with field crickets. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, it was delicious. I liked it. Yeah, yeah, me too. I've had it a couple times, actually. Oh. Pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, when I was in the United States for a while, when I was pretty young, I think back in high school, there was a fad in the United States. Just for a while, there was this fad, chocolate-covered ants, chocolate-covered grasshoppers. I, I don't know why. It was popular for a few years, and then it went to completely disappeared. But I also tried to eat chocolate-covered ants, and uh, 
of course, now living in the Philippines, I can't. I'm sure I'm eating just kilos and kilos of ants uh, <laughs> every month. It can't be helped here. There are ants everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me uh, let me continue my poll. Roman, have you ever uh, eaten insects? Uh, I think uh, I. Uh, uh, eat it uh, like you by accident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because uh, uh, I travel out and I travel in different places. I'm, and I'm not... My uh, food sometimes was without some worms or bags <laughs> or something, especially in India. <laughs> oh, <you're> right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah I, but I, it's not so big problem. <laughs> right, right. You just kind of have to ignore it. Um, I read somewhere, I can't remember the exact amount, but it's a really impressive amount that I, human beings eat some ridiculous amount, like, I don't know, 10 pounds or 5 kilos of insects every year, something like that, and something like 3 pounds of dirt <laughs> and sand. I don't know. Just... Uh, just incidentally is the word, by accident, not on purpose. But Okay, Michael, have you ever eaten insects before? No, i never eaten insects, and it's not a part of my culture, and it's uh, something that I would not do. Um, I like, um, it's not something that's appealing to you, that appeals to me. <laughs> so um, if uh, I would be like... Uh, Proposed, uh, if someone proposed to me like eat some assets, I would decline that offer. <laughs> I don't know if they only like said to me like someone said that it's what? very delicious or something. Maybe I would try, but by myself right. to imagine if you're traveling and you're in another culture, you're in a culture mm -hmm. where they they do eat insects. Would you try? Um, I may try, uh, of course, if I see that okay. those people like they eat and they. They are okay. They like those <laughs> insects. I would try, but for now, I do not see like uh, how they eat ants or um, beetles or yeah. <laughs> or something like that. It's not something that. Well, of course, you're gonna. In my them. culture, <laughs> <laughs> they look uh, disga disgusting. To be yeah. Honest. Well, not okay. <laughs> I would right. eat uh, an <laughs> apple or a uh, uh, carrot or. Something like that, or a cucumber mm -hmm. rather than insect. Cucumber. 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 Yeah. Okay. Nian, welcome to the class. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. And you? I'm good, thank you. Good to see you again. Uh, Nian, uh, have you ever eaten insects? Uh, not yet. <laughs> I like to uh, eat crickets some cricket? in the future. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, come visit me over here in the Philippines. It's a short bo boat ride. I'll, uh, we'll go out to dinner. One of my favorite restaurants, they, we have crickets. <laughs> you can try it. <laughs> They're good. They're actually very good. Um, my uh, my parents ate it, and they said very, it, it's very good. Is that a is that a traditional dish uh, in Vietnam? Um, not really, but um, mm. I think uh, many people uh, eat uh, crickets on some occasional times. Okay. Like party or going to the bar. Okay, special occasions. It's more of a delicacy. So, uh, foods that we only maybe there a delicacy means something that's very expensive, very rare, or that we eat only on uh, rare occasions. So, okay. Um, one more question before we do a little background reading, and we can discuss and debate some more. Uh, one more question for Steve. Steve, uh, I've heard this weird rumor here in the Philippines. Uh, I don't know if you've heard this or you know anything about the validity of... Oh, and he's gone. Shoot. I really wanted to ask him. It, some people say that there are... that they put earthworms into the hot dogs here in the Philippines. I'm dying to know if there's any truth behind that. 
because the hot dogs do taste really weird here, so I'm not sure what they're doing. Anyway, okay, let's move on. All right, uh, according to the UN, uh, let's take a look at the article. We can read this together. All right, I'll, I'll go ahead and read the premise, and then you guys can read the two or three different points. All right. The latest weapon in the UN's fight against hunger, global warming, and pollution may be flying by you right now. Edible insects are being promoted as a low-fat, high-protein food for people, pets, and livestock. According to the UN, they come with appetizing side benefits, reducing greenhouse gas emissions and livestock pollution creating jobs in developing countries, and feeding millions of hungry people in the world. All right. Some edible insect information. Okay. Well, uh, Roman, can you do me a favor and try this? Who eats yes. insects now? Uh, okay. Who eats insects now? Two billion people do, largely in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. The Rome-based UN, UN Food and Agriculture Organization said Monday as it issued a report exploring edible insect potential. Uh, do I continue? Sure, why not? Uh, uh, may already be in your food, and this is no fly in my soap dog. Demand for natural food. Uh, covering as opposite to artificial juice is is increase, increasing. The agency's experts say a red covering produced from the co cochineal uh, scout insect often exported from Peru already passed uh, the hue in the trendy Italian appetite and an international popular brand for of uh, strawberry yogurt. Uh, many pharmace pharmace pharmaceutical companies also use coverings from insects in their pills. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, just a, a quick note, a couple pronunciation opposed and artificial Cold. dyes. Dyes are used to color dye. things. You dye your hair. Dye can be a verb or a noun. You color. Artificial color. Okay. Um, Alright, so uh, there you go. Roman, do you ever eat... Do you know Danon yogurt? Mm. Yogurt? It's, yeah. Yeah, it's it's called Dan a company called Dannon. It's Dannon in the United no, States. Uh, it's slightly not, different. Dannon, uh, no, no, uh, I don't think so because uh, in the United States, I uh, might be tried, but uh, I think I didn't eat it yet. Oh. Danon, uh, yeah, Roman, yeah, Danon, Danon. It has yeah, different, yeah, yeah. different pronunciation. You know? They have okay. it in Russia and Ukraine and it's uh, very um, famous. Europe. Like uh, yeah, it's yeah. very um, yeah. popular company. I, I, agree. I know this company, but in our country we have more natural uh, uh, yogurts. That, right. And, I mean Ukraine, and and we pre prefer local uh, market, uh, local right. production products. Probably a good idea. That's why I have never tried uh, yogurt from which produce in the United States, for example. Okay, mass produce, but okay, all right. Yeah, anyway, I think they're one of the companies that use this. Anyway, so the, becoming more and more popular to use dyes, which, of course, they're not going to tell you that it's from an insect, but so you may already be eating insects and you don't really know it. Uh, okay. Um, uh, as far as... As uh, vocabulary, do you guys know what a an aperitif is? Weird word. No, 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 no. no. An aperitif is a, a usually it's a alcoholic beverage which is normally um, 
consumed like for dessert, like after a meal. It's sweet, normally, fruit flavored, often, fruit or or herb like mint. Okay, close to like schnapps, for example, would be kind of close. Usually a uh, fruit flavor, but and usually sweet, like dessert. Uh, okay. All right, so uh, let's continue. Uh, Michael, can you can you read this next part? Packed with protein and full of fiber. Mm -mm. Scientists who have uh, studied the nutritional value of uh, edible insects have found that red ants, small grass grasshoppers. How do you pronounce? Grasshoppers. Mm -hmm. That's grasshoppers. Right. And some water beetles pack gram per gram or ounce per ounce enough protein to rank with lean, 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 mm -hmm. lean ground beef uh, while having less fat per gram. Okay, you can read the next one. Board with uh, bran, bran. Mm -hmm. As a source of fiber in your uh, board with bran as a source of fiber in your diet, edible insects can oblige or oblige. Oblige is correct. Oblige, and they also contain useful minerals uh, such as iron, magnesium, phosphorus, phosphorus. How do you pronounce? Phosphorus. That's correct. Phosphorus, selenium, and zinc. Okay, very good. Okay, so very very healthy. Um, Okay, uh, lean ground beef means no fat. If it's lean, it's the opposite of fatty. If fatty ground beef has a high fat content. Lean ground beef has a very low fat content. Okay. Um, bran is a kind of grain. It's very, very high in fiber. Okay. Um, all right, so extremely healthy. They're good for you. <laughs> now, Nyun, let's. Why don't you try this next part? Which to choose, Nyun? Okay, uh, beetles and car caterpillars are the most common meals among the more than uh, one thousand uh, nine hundred edible insect species that people eat. Uh, other popular Insect foods are bees, wasp, ants, grasshopper, uh, locusts, and crickets. Less popular are uh, termites and flies, according to UN data. Okay, very good. Termites. Termites. Uh, okay. Do you do you know all these insects in English? Uh, yeah. Do you know you know what a beetle is? Uh, yes, I know. Six uh, legs, usually a hard shell. Yes, uh, beautiful. <laughs> right, <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, it's maybe. Cute. So, okay, sometimes. Uh, all right, you know what caterpillars are? Uh, no, no, I don't. Caterpillars. Uh, anybody else know what a caterpillar is in English? I know. It. Okay. What is it, Michael? So uh, it's um. Worm that before type of worm that before uh, become butterfly. That's right. It's a pre butterfly. Um, kind of a worm. It has legs, eats leaves, and it turns into a butterfly. Very good. It's not true. Oh. It's not true. Caterpillar is a big true? tractor. What's <laughs> that? Because caterpillar is a big tractor. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're right. Okay, right. A caterpillar is a big tractor. Very good. And a deer is a bulldozer. Okay. <laughs> John Deere. Sorry. Okay. All right. How about some of these other ones? I'm just checking on the vocabulary. Wasps. Anybody know what a wasp is? No. Okay. A wasp is a type of bee. Usually has a longer body. They're usually much more aggressive. Often darker. Bees usually tend to be more yellow. Wasps tend to be black. Not always. Yellow and black. 
Um, but they definitely tend to have longer bodies, and they're usually nasty. Really hurts when you get stung by a wasp. Um, also, interestingly, a wasp, as an acro acronym, just for the point of education here, a wasp, I'll write it, is also uh, known in the United States, a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. <laughs> so, all right. So, basically, I'm a wasp. Uh, okay. Ants, I think we all know ants. Uh, grasshoppers, locusts and crickets are all very, very similar. They're those creatures with the really long legs that hop. They hop really far. And notably, crickets are the little ones that rub their legs, back legs together, and they make the sound like... <laughs> and you can hear it at night or you can hear it in, in your house and you can never find where they are those things not in the United States crickets? yeah there, there's crickets in the United States definitely uh, but yeah. not uh, as much as when I was in Vietnam oh yeah right. okay yeah I'll grant you that they're definitely living here in Asia there's way more ants Far less bees, <laughs> and the less there are less crickets here, but there are definitely more ants in Asia, than, or at least in the Philippines, uh, by far. Uh, okay, you guys know what termites are. Termites are those nasty little things. They look somewhat like ants, um, but they're the ones that get in your house and they eat wood. So they totally destroy things made out of wood if they infest, for example, your house or wood, any wooden anything. And, and they, they totally destroy it. They make lots of holes in the wood, so it just turns into basically dust. Um, they're also the ones that you see that they build a big nest on the ground. So they build like a sort of an obelisk, a mound of dirt and they kind of glue it together. But anyway, I'm sure we all know what flies are. Okay. So, all right, 1900 edible insect species. Terrific. Okay. Uh, Steve, can you read this next part? Eco-friendly. Sure. <clears throat> Eco-friendly. Insects on average can convert 2 kilograms or 4.4 pounds of feed into 1 kilogram. 2.2 pounds of edible meat. In comparison, cattle require 8 kilograms, 7.6 pounds of feed to produce a kilogram of meat. Most insects raised for food are likely to produce fewer environmentally harmful greenhouse gases than livestock, the UN agency says. says. Okay. So really, that means they're probably cheaper to produce with higher out higher outcome. Uh, okay. Uh, now here's the fun part. Don't swat the income. Uh, edible insects are a money maker. In Africa, four big water bottles filled with grasshoppers can fetch a gatherer 15 euros, about 20 bucks. Some caterpillars in southern Africa and weaver ant eggs in Southeast Asia are considered delicacies and command high prices. Hmm, money. Uh, insect farms tend to be small, serving niche markets like fish bait businesses, but since insects thrive across a wide range of locations, from deserts to mountains, and are highly adaptable, experts see big potential for the insect farming industry, especially those farming insects for animal feed. Most edible insects are now gathered in forests. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, all right, I guess I can just finish it up. We're almost done. Uh, Three million euro, or four million dollar, European Union funded research project is studying the common house fly to see if a lot of flies can help recycle animal waste by essentially eating it 
while helping to produce feed for animals such as chickens. Right now, farmers can only use so much manure as fertilizer and many often pay handsome sums for someone to cart away animal waste and burn it. A South African fly factory <laughs> that rears the insects and in mass to transform blood, guts, manure, and discarded food into animal feed has won a $100,000 UN-backed innovation prize. Hooray. Okay, so... Uh, Steve, how would you like to be a fly farmer? <laughs> <laughs> well, if <laughs> well, that's interesting. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, if it if it would uh, if it would uh, it would be a good uh, source of income for me, then why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah. Uh, actually, I have a friend who is a mouse farmer. Believe it or not, he he uh, he has pools and he raises tropical fish for sale, um, freshwater tropical fish, and he also, in conjunction with that, he has a pig farm and he uses the manure to raise. Uh, as part of, he sells a fertilizer. He combines it with mulch and earthworms, so he raises pigs, earthworms, tropical fish, and mice. Uh, which he sells for snake food. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, and I'm sure if he knew he could make money raising flies, he would. Uh, okay. What do you think... Uh, uh, Steve, okay, I'll start with you. Uh, you disappeared. I wanted to ask you a question. I've heard a rumor. I have no idea. Maybe it's totally baloney, totally untrue. I've heard a rumor that in the, the Philippines they they put earthworms in the hot dogs. Is, have you ever heard that? <laughs> oh yes, uh, I've heard that rumor too and uh, I don't true? know if it's true. <laughs> you, don't know, you don't know either? Yes, I don't know. Yeah. They, okay. Because uh, well, because uh, when I was young, hot dog was uh, was like uh, we, since we are from a you know from a poor family family, we can't afford the uh, my parents cannot afford to buy hot dogs for us and so, mm -hmm. but uh, hot dog was my favorite uh, food for breakfast. Sure. And they used to you know to tell us that you know don't eat hot dog because they put worms on it so. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so. okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. All so. right. So the, oh, okay, so it's like don't they're trying to get the children not to eat so many hot dogs. Y yes. <laughs> oh, no, now I understand. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> All right. Because I heard the same thing, but yet I continue to eat hot dogs anyway because I, I don't uh. care. I don't care. What if there are worms in the hot dogs? I don't care. They're just worms. doesn't bother me. What do you think of the notion um, about, for example, the article mentioned using dyes from insects and putting it in food. Okay, hot dogs with worms in it. What do you think about processed foods with insects inside? Would, would this bother you? Do you think it's... How do you think about it personally? Do you think it's a good idea or a bad idea? Um, I'm going to start with Roman. Roman. Supplementing processed foods with insects. What do you think? Uh, in my country, uh, in Ukraine, uh, uh, producer of uh, sausage use uh, toilet popper for a long time. So, uh, as a uh, main filler of uh, sausage. So, I think... Uh, uh, I think... Uh, Insect, it's not so bad idea. <laughs> Sometimes you can add uh, some uh, rats to to your sausage. <laughs> oh no, no, no! Don't tell me that. Oh, oh, oh yeah, no. yeah. It's it's in my country. It's very interesting because there is uh, some standards, uh, but 
by producer of food uh, can uh, can bribe uh, people who who check uh, huge on the factory. That's why I know it very good. Actually, I work in the food industry too, so really, I know. So I don't think it's a big problem. Okay, what food industry were you working in? What kind of food were you making? Not I the name of the company. For, I work for. No, it's not. Uh, I work for Sunflower Oil Factory, so I produce oh. Uh, oil. Oh, okay, sunflower. like uh, yeah. okay, sunflower oil. Okay, very good. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, in it, r t toilet paper in the sausage, really. Hope, yeah, hope. yeah, it's, uh, it's not, uh, not used, very, not used uh, toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ah. Oh boy, my gosh! It's easy to counter when Roman. when uh, uh, when kilo of sausage cost uh, uh, ten percent from uh, price of uh, meat. Yeah. So, Roman, I love sausage. I have I have sausage at least once a week. Different kinds of sausage. Yeah, Lassa, yeah. Polish, but, uh, Polska, whatever. I don't buy it from Ukraine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Note to self: Do not buy imported <laughs> sausage from Ukraine. Yeah. As well, actually, Roman raises an interesting point. Uh, I was talking about on purpose, willfully using insects as an additive to food. But in reality, even in the United States, by law, there are a certain amount of insect parts or rat hairs allowed in processed foods, things like peanut butter. There's a certain amount of parts per million or however they work it out, I, I don't know, grams per pound. I'm not sure the ratios, I really don't know. but. There are definitely laws in place which specifically allow a certain amount of insect matter and, yes, rat hair in your processed foods in the United States. Absolutely fact. I'm positive of that. Um, but these are things that just accidentally get put in in the, in the processing. Um, Michael, what do you think about willfully on pur purpose creating processed foods that use insects. Does that bother you? Mm, I don't know. I presume that uh, some of processed food, they have like um, something that is not written in uh, um, like in the description of that product. I mean, um, on the sticker, yeah? Or... Um. Uh, I don't know. I guess it would depend on the individual food uh, governing laws for each country, I suppose. No, I mean uh, that um, um, they uh, write like on the sticker something, but I presume that there is something else. Not only uh, the, what is written, like uh, the components of that product. Right, the ingredients. The ingredients, right. yeah. For example, you buy like uh, a sausage or, or something, and you read like the ingredients. And uh, mm -hmm. I presume that they add something that uh, is not written there. But what I do, I try to buy like a product that they are not uh, have additives, less e. Like E, you know, E and 621 or something like that. Less uh, these kind of things. And um, what I've read that you need to buy like a product that contains less, uh, uh, that uh, can, um, so uh, the, um, this uh, time, uh, time when, uh, how, when you can uh, eat that product. I mean, you bought, uh, okay. and after two months, you need to throw. <laughs> what is the time? Yeah, expiration date. Yeah, expiration date. I look up on this expiration date. And yeah. if uh, I read, like, an article that uh, if uh, the, pro uh, the product that has um, um, smaller expiration date, it's okay. better. 
they contain less adjectives uh, and things like that. Well, that seems that, extremely logical, yeah. Okay. That, can, that is the expiration date is half a year or one year. You can expect that they, uh, they add added more things that they are not healthy for your health. T ten years. <laughs> yeah, t no, ten years and everything. Like two years, con concert, some type of... But... Uh, mm, if you uh, like, you ask me about insects. Um, they add. I do not know what they add, but uh, as we read an article, they are not so bad insects. So, but uh, mm -hmm. so it's okay, I think, to eat them. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but it, I, I would stick to fish. I like fish. I do not like meat. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, fair enough. Um, hmm. Actually, maybe we can get to that fish, beef. What, what is, what additives and what is safe food really nowadays? It's that's another interesting side topic. There is no additives if you buy a fish, uh, like fish, uh, frozen fish, for example, and you see that fish. What additives can contain that fish? If Actually, there are some farm-raised fish that have especially. Uh, it's possible now and it happens now mm -hmm. uh, some things like uh, farm-raised salmon some yeah. farm-raised tuna even like tuna fish cans and uh, possibly even tilapia um, pollock there are some fish that they're fed and the f they're actually fed they're given antibiotics and certain things to help their uh, growth hormones so yeah I know they've been okay, doing this for a while for beef and pigs. And but I presume, definitely. But I presume if you buy fish from uh, uh, United States, can be like that. They are so advanced and these kind of things. But if you buy fish like from, for example, Russian fish, they I do not think they yeah I see the farms are, they caught in ocean. <laughs> Depends, if, of course, where it's imported from. Obviously. Yeah, I yeah. feel I feel safer eating fish in the Philippines because I know it's there's not a lot that's imported here. Roman, you had a point. Uh, I would I would like that notice that most of fish which import to our country, possibly the Union country, it's uh, it's uh, not uh, ocean fish because ocean fish are really very expensive. Uh, yeah, but, and farm. Grown fish, uh, more, much more, uh, much less expensive. That's why I don't think that uh, our people, I mean, Ukrainian Russian people, can afford a, a real ocean fish. It's too expensive. Yeah, and I think that's consistently worldwide. Quite honestly, cheapest fish here in the Philippines is tilapia, which they in fact grow on farms. They, they definitely grow it here um, yeah it, by scale again you know economics of scale you no know, catching them one at a time or even in big nets whatever I, I don't know um, okay getting back to insects Nian Nian are you there you're muted right now right. yes <laughs> okay what do you think about adding uh, insects into food into processed food for example uh, I think uh, I uh, might be uh, I might like it, but uh, um, it's good. Uh, but uh, for me, I I wouldn't. I absolutely want it's uh, food with insects like uh, worm or something uh, that uh, are made. Uh, you know, that, uh, f uh, what what is the uh, flaccid? Yeah. What? Uh, I know flaccid. Flaccid. Yes. <laughs> I don't quite know oh. your meaning. Flaccid. Yeah. Okay. Limp. Uh, <laughs> okay. Or if we if they if they if they make a uh, crispy. Yes, yes, oh, I, I, I okay. Win. Yeah. 
crispy. You prefer your insects crispy. As do yeah. I, actually, in reality. I've eaten insects a couple of times. I do prefer them crispy as opposed to... We wouldn't use flaccid for food, okay? We would norm normally use the uh, adjective soggy. Something that's crispy, crunchy, we use for food. You know, <clears throat> all right, there's a snap when you eat it. Something that's just wet and squishy. <laughs> is, yes. <laughs> in food, we would normally say soggy. So, okay. Yeah. And it's definitely usually looked at as a, a derogatory, a negative. Like uh, cereal, you pour milk on your cereal and you don't eat it for an hour. Ooh, 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 your <laughs> cereal's going to be soggy. Yeah, not not as good. Um, kind of gross. Yeah, right. Okay. Personally, I'm waiting for them. I, what I want to see, I want to see the UN uh, genetically mutate uh, insects so they're really big, like the size of. Uh, you know, chickens or even cows. <laughs> now that would be cool. I mean, if you had a worm like this, big, and you could just slice it, you have a nice round worm steak. Mmm, delicious. Throw it on the barbecue. Good to go. <laughs> That's what I'm looking forward to. Look, they're invertebrates. They don't even have bones. What a bonus. Okay. So, all right. No f low in fat. Very good for you. Uh, okay. Um, uh, okay, so uh, what do you think? Okay, yesterday we talked about the UN. What do you think about the UN spending a lot of money to research technologies to use insects? Insect farms, good idea or bad idea? Uh, what do you think, Steve? Uh, for me, I think it's a good idea since uh, you know since uh, they have already done a research that uh, proving that insects are healthy. So yeah. might as well utilize the utilize those insects, you know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. at least, and and it would be better if they if they <clears throat> support those projects which are from the third world countries, so that uh, you know to, it would uh, help their economy. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Wow, it's hard to argue with uh, Roman. Any, any problems with that? Uh, I think. I think uh, one uh, has never gave in uh, in this world because uh, uh, it's uh, the main, I think it's uh, now it's main problem of uh, UN, it's uh, some African countries which uh, suffer from uh, famine. Uh, yeah. That uh, and you know that there is there are a lot of research which uh, told uh, tell that um, in future when our population will grow uh, dramatically we will have uh, a big problem with uh, uh, with uh, meal. <coughs> The UN uh, try to predict uh, this uh, problem and find uh, find some uh, solution advance. Yeah, in advance, right? In advance, yeah. Thank you. Okay, all right. To to prevent famine, famine, starvation, famine. Okay. Uh huh. Um. You know, I just had a. I don't know. I was just thinking about it because you're right. A lot of these projects would be taking place in Asia and, of course, Africa. And I and I think about it, and I remember every time I see one of those commercials that says, "Please help the poor, starving children in Africa," and it shows a picture of the African kid, and he's sitting there, and he always he always has a fly in his eye. Why is that? There's always a fly sitting in his eye. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if it's yeah. a good idea to set up fly farms in Africa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> they already have enough flies. Okay, all right. That's a terrible thing to say, but 
I don't know. I just uh-huh. thought of those two ideas in conjunction with each other. Hmm, wait a minute. Yeah. What's what's that, Steve? Yeah, because uh, I heard from a friend who has been in Africa, and she told me that uh, <clears throat> that's why there are flies flying around the the eyes of the of uh, of the people, because uh, since water is so scarce in Africa, so ah. the flies are there in the eyes because of the water. Okay. Yeah. Okay, a logical reason, something I've wondered about for 30 years. Thank yeah. you, Steve. Aha! <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, I, I've been seeing the same commercials for 30 years, and it's always the same thing with the flies in the eyes. I could never figure out what was going on. Aha! Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, I had an aha uh-huh moment. Thanks, Steve. You're okay. welcome. Mm. Very interesting. Okay, Um Michael, do you have any any problem with uh, trying to encourage third world countries to develop technologies to use insects, which clearly would be more economically viable uh, if it takes whatever it was, um, eight kilos to make one kilo of beef. Obviously, two for one with insects is a lot more economically okay. easy to do. I'm uh, not really sure that insects are really healthy, and um, they are um, like you can eat all that fly, for example, 100% uh, that fly. I mean, uh, they it has uh, wings, yeah, um, <laughs> eyes and things like that. So I'm not really like sure about that. Uh, why I say that because. Uh, when I read uh, articles about healthy food, for example, about uh, what should you eat like to be healthier, I mm-hmm. always uh, see like uh, like you need to eat uh, fish like that contains vitamin D, and you need to uh, eat like uh, uh, less meat. For example, I can, I can say that I see uh, to eat less meat because meat is n- not so good for your health, and. Mm-hmm. Um, um, this like uh, kind of um, healthy related articles that I read, right. and you need like to eat more like um, vegetables, vegetables, and, and uh, yeah, sure, yeah, fruits, uh, these kind of things because they are very very healthy for your for your health. So and to drink uh, a lot of water, uh, whatever I'd like you need to drink a lot of water because like uh, sure. your <laughs> not cola, Oakley, not uh, red. It's water. Why it's red? Water. I ah, drink a water. ton of water because I'm talking all day on the internet. I mm. drink a lot of water. So, Basically, one of these glasses is every class I have. I have to. My mouth gets so dry. So, uh, for example, I read to each kilogram of your body, for example, you have like 50 kilograms or 70 kilograms, yeah, your body, you need to drink like 30 milliliters of water for each kilogram per day. Yeah. Do you understand? You yeah. multiply like 30 uh, and how, m- my, how many kilograms you have and so much uh, so much water you should drink. Uh, this kind of, and you will be like healthy, you will live longer like 10 years. But I never seen like uh, articles about that uh, you need to eat uh, insects or something like that. So I think this is kind of uh, uh, maybe Maybe I presume that this kind of uh, thing for three uh, third world countries from Africa, like to somehow to uh, solve that problem, but it's not really the solution, uh, the no. best solution. I mean, uh, you can stick with uh, classic well, the whole, products. And the whole reason they say fish instead of like beef is uh-huh. because fish is extremely low in fat, comparatively compared to beef. Mm-hmm. It's much much lower in fat, but you need the protein. People still need to eat, have protein, which is the same idea with eating insects. You don't have the fat, but you get the protein. I, I read, for example, if you eat like meat, a lot of meat, you become older. It, it is true or not? You look older. <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, you know, these, these all these things with your diet and, uh, you know, what to eat, they change it every five years, so who knows? Eggs are good. Eggs are bad. Eat the whites. Eat the yolks. I I don't know. 
Exegute, exegute, whatever, exegute, very good. Well, you know, they've changed their mind on that at least five times in my lifetime, at least. Only eat the egg whites. Oh, you should eat the, the yolks. For for example, uh, what I, on TV I've heard, like, uh, there is like uh, a famous um, model year, yeah? Is the word in English model year? No, model. We don't. No, so who designs clothes for... Ah, uh, uh, um, uh, designer, fashion designer. Fashion designer, like, uh, I don't remember, Gucci or Gabbana or Dolce, someone of them. Uh, mm -hmm. So he's, like, uh, old, not old, but he's, like, more than 50 years old. I don't remember what he said. And he said, like, uh, that he uh, will move to a uh, warm country and will eat only fruits and vegetables and will drink juices because he wants to be, like, healthy and to live longer. So he gave up, like, his own country and he moved to, I don't remember what country, but it's, like, warm country with the fruits mm -hmm. and vegetables. Okay. About um, interest, okay, you were talking for a while about the importance of water. Um, I, just sidebar, uh, recently in the news, I just read yesterday or the day before. Uh, someone in the United States is uh, suing Gatorade. Are you guys? Are, you guys are all familiar with Gatorade, right? The, yes. the drink. Well, what is it? It's a sports drink. <clears throat> uh, many flavors. They they claim that it adds uh, vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes, which give you energy or help you produce energy for your muscles. It's a brand name. Okay. Parent company is Pepsi Cola, by the way. Anyway, it's a sports drink, fruit flavored, whatever. Anyway, uh, the, there's a, a, a lawsuit currently in the United States because Gatorade has an ad campaign. In, uh, in particular, their website, and they have a game you play on the website. And uh, Gatorade claims that Gatorade is good for you, but water is bad for you. <laughs> you should drink Gatorade, not water. <laughs> you see, this is kind of things that... Uh, stupid marketing. When time... You need yeah. to check in time, this kind of thing. Yeah, just ridiculous marketing. I mean, but uh, I just thought it was kind of funny. Only in the United States. Um, Nian, what do you think of... Uh, okay, I already asked you that, didn't I? Oh. Um, okay, so... All right, another point. All right. Eating insects. All right, Steve, you, you have actually tried eating insects... What is an insect you would never eat? No way. I would never eat. Oh, cockroach. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on that. 100% behind you. Of course, Steve, do you know that in China, in fact, they do eat cockroaches? Oh, really? Wow. In fact, in China, they they there are, I've seen this... And numerous documentaries, at least three di totally different documentaries. They actually raise the cockroaches in, in, in a cockroach farm. I, I don't know what you would call it. What do you, what do you call that? I have no idea. But they actually, on purpose, raised. It's really creepy. There's like millions of cockroaches crawling around in this room, and the people are just like oblivious. They've got cockroaches crawling all over them. They're they're just happily <laughs> scooping up the cockroaches. And, <laughs> do, they, do they eat it uh, fresh? <laughs> they, they fry them up. Oh, they, they fry it. Oh, yeah. But still, I, 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 okay, that's the <laughs> one I couldn't handle as well. Uh, Roman, what insect could you just not bring yourself to eat? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think uh, in case of very big uh, famine, I can eat everything. I guess it. Uh, because uh, yeah. I do uh, a lot of hiking. When you go to the nature and you can spend a week or more. And I really believe that when you want to eat, really want to eat it, you can eat everything. Some people who do some uh, extreme survival, actually, uh, they do it. Mm. Yeah, So, true. 
it's not a problem when you want to eat. When you have hot dog in or a gumburg in your fridge, <laughs> you uh, you really will not eat some insect, but in right. some uh, shortage of food. Hmm. Good point. I guess probably if I was hungry, I can't even th go there. I can't even think about eating a cockroach. I just can't. Maybe I'd rather die. I'm not sure. Or maybe eat the used toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Michael, what is the one insect that you would just never eat? Are you there? Do okay, you hear me? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. yeah, all of them. I would not eat them. Uh, all of them. Nowadays. <laughs> yeah, like nowadays, I would not like to to take an insect and to eat uh, raw or uh, fried or boiled. Uh, I boiled. I don't like <laughs> boiled insect. Ooh. Why should I eat them? It's uh, there is a plenty of food that you can eat without any insects, and you can stick with uh, dairy products, for example, like uh, yogurts, uh, yogurts, yeah, uh, sure. like, uh, something like that. They are more delicious for me, at least. Sure. I would buy yeah. yogurts, well, yeah. not Danon, not Danon, <laughs> not okay. Danon. Some uh, um. local products. <laughs> Danon would. With with beetle juice, beetle juice, beetle juice, beetle juice. <laughs> ah. Um. Okay, Nian, is there a particular insect which you would never eat? Um, I I might uh, eat uh, earthworm, but uh, I don't know if uh, they eat the uh, kind of uh, the worm eating these. I mean the worm, not transform to the butterfly. Yeah, some people do eat earthworms. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> these worms because uh, when I was in Vietnam, when I was young, I uh, my family had, had a farm, and there were a uh, lot of um, fruit trees, and uh -huh. every late in the summer, <laughs> there there were a lot of worms. And it obsessed me <laughs> when, when it was you. Wait. <coughs> With the worms, wait a minute. Do you mean worms in the ground or worms on the trees? Wor worms on the trees. Ah, okay. So these are like caterpillars. What we talked about. Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. Caterpillars. <laughs> right, <laughs> caterpillars. <laughs> All right. Earthworms are in the ground. They're the, the long ones. People use them for fishing. Um, okay. All right. I, 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 the other one I would could never eat is m maybe a caterpillar. Uh, not a caterpillar, but uh, you know, do you know what a centipede is or a millipede? No. They're the long ones. They're called centipede. Centa one hundred in Latin. Pede or pede is feet in Latin. A hundred feet. So they're the little ones that look like a little tiny snake but they have many, many feet that go along in a row like this. Oh. And they usually have those nasty pinchers on their head. Those are so why would not nasty. eat them? Oh, because they, they freak me out. They scare me. But you would boil them and that's all? That would be a sausage. No. That's sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Made of them. No. You would not see no. them. They yeah, lots, have out. a lot of proteins, uh, vitamin D and things like that, so you'll be yeah. healthy. I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, teacher yeah. Oakley, if they yeah. give you a million dollars to eat a centipede, would you do it? For ten thousand, he would do that. How hungry am I, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> no, How hungry you know, and, he, and uh, can I have so. can I have like six beers before I take this challenge? <laughs> another, another question. Um, mm, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You have to eat it boiled. <laughs> boiled. Oh yeah, oh, this, that's. That. Uh, okay, fun conversation. Thank you, gentlemen. But I am out of time. Gotta right. go. Okay, You're thank you. To eat your <laughs> yeah, I gotta go have my snack now. My merienda, <laughs> my afternoon snack. Your caterpillar. Yeah. Okay, caterpillar steak. Mmm. 
fried up on the Barbie. Uh, all right, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you nice. again real soon, I hope. Okay. It's okay. Thanks, teacher.